morning everyone so uh, i hope i think you have a fruitful last two days and still second day is not over so we have something for you uh, we'll be having another session basically it will be a validity session as it was informed during lunch time that isas has conducted successfully 75 number of webinars so the details will be uh, soon informed uh, now we have we are thanking two of our sponsors uh, one is uh, spectra lab mumbai another one we have ire limited india limited so we have a short presentation from uh, ire limited so let us hear from them energy efficient future adapting to alternative sustainable resources headline the course of our actions Securing the country's long-term energy independence forms the genesis of IREL, which commits to doing so through the production of strategic products. IREL is a pioneer of rare earths meant to serve the defense, space, nuclear energy, the green energy sectors, electronics, and other high-tech industries. Ever since its inception, IREL has served the nation by catering to the requirements of over 2000 downstream industries in the field of titanium dioxide pigments, aerospace, infrastructure, construction industry 2, and refractories for the steel industry. IREL takes pride in serving its clientele with MSMEs, forming a majority with more than 90%. Among IREL's ambitious projects is Rare Earth Theme Park at Bhopal and Rare Earth Permanent Magnet Plant at Vishakhapatnam, designed to enhance the profile of our nation, expand the production and consumption of rare earths, boosting entrepreneurial opportunities in India. IREL is committed to paving a pathway for building a self-reliant India. IREL Unleashing values. Respected uh, director, directors, sci scientists, dignitaries present in the conference. I am Simantal Rath, chief manager from. IEL India Limited Savara Kollam I am thankful to the organizing committee giving me some time to for brief description of our IEL um, limited coming to the history and there is a fact behind this uh, in past this coir fiber coconut coir fiber was exported to foreign countries so in that coir some sand is also going along with that coir so german chemist hers kamber found identified that yellow is shining sand as monazite and from that now path came for the story of other minerals heavy minerals like ilmite rutile jetcon silmite garnet and monazite from beach sand minerals our minerals are also called beach sand minerals because it is mostly concentrated along the coastal areas do uh, these are actually placer deposits formed by the weathering of rocks from eastern ghats and western ghats and so um, along the eastern ghats we have one mineral deposit in uh, odisha chatrapur and here western coast uh, tamil nadu one mineral plant is there and saura kollam so from this uh, this placer deposit contains about uh, 10 to 15% heavy minerals heavy minerals like ilmite rutile zircon silmite garnet and monazite and rest is quartz silica so from this uh, we are collecting and upgrading 
insight to up to about 90 percent and the rest quads we are backfilling with zero monolith and from monolith there are two chemical plants one is in uh, Odisha radar extraction plant and one is in radar division Alwa. In radar extraction plant monazite is the compound of all lanthanide series of elements from atomic number 57 to 71 phosphate of all lanthanide series containing some thorium oxide and uranium oxide. Now we are under the control of Department of Atomic Energy because of these two atomic minerals, zircon and monazite. So from monazite in rare earth extraction plant, it is converted to rare earth uh, chlorides, then thorium oxalate and nuclear grade ammonium diuranate. And that rare earth chloride is coming to Alwa, rare earth division, where we are separating the individual uh, elements, lanthanide oxides of individual elements. But these elements are so similar in properties, it is very difficult to get in purest form. And concentration of these also in monolith is very low. And our minerals actually are the called vitamins of the green technology. Vitamins why? Because of the superior quality of our minerals, addition of little quantity will enhance the properties of compounds, alloys. And these are helpful in green technology like building solar panel, nuclear energy, and uh, catalytic converters also. So, as now green technology demand is increasing, so our importance also are growing more. But it is called rare. So there are so many stories behind why it is called rare. But one interesting story is we are not aware. That's why it is rare. It has hundreds of applications, but we are not aware of that. And for that, now our project is in Bhopal for demonstration of technology in pilot plant scale. So uh, that technology developed by BRC and we are now in project stage. So we will demonstrate the technology of applications of, of this titanium and rare earth elements to entrepreneurs for more and more industries. And for application of all minerals, we have exhibition, there we are displaying and providing uh, this all um, applications are written there. Please come and see there. Now, we'll, uh, as time is short, I will show some slides. This is first uh, that monazite, from monazite thorium oxide was used for mental right, to and now it is dropped with the ceric also, cerium oxide, which is also product of our earth, to increase the brightness. This is our store history. Let us go ahead. Now, these are three, four plants, and with corporate office at Mumbai. This is under the Department of Atomic Energy. These are the basin minerals and chemicals we are producing. Based on our problem, this is a simple process, uh, only based on the conductivity and magnetic properties and gravity. These three properties we utilize and uh, separate these minerals. So you, we use uh, high tension separators, magnetic separators, and uh, gravity separators, like spirals, hydroclassifiers, like this. And for green uh, technology, that neodymium is also one product of monazite, which is used for making permanent magnet, neodymium uh, iron, neodymium boron, which needs no electrical energy. 
So for energy point of view and safety point of view, it is highly demanding. This is our separation process, uh, upgradation, then wet magnetic separator, then high tension separator, then magnetic separator ilmate will in come conducting and magnetic, then that rotile conducting and non-conducting, a non-MAC, non can comes in as non-conducting non-MAC, and silmac uh, contains quartz, so by frost production process, we remove quartz, and we maintain the uh, high quality products as per our ISO standard. This is the composition of ilmite. Uh, TI2 in Taura ilmite, TI2 is around 60%, rest iron. And rutile, this is TI2, rutile. Rutile titanium dioxide, 90, 98%. Uh, this is ilmite, uh, that application, titanium pigment, it is used for titanium pigment, paints and colors, for medicine application, then toothpaste, titanium dioxide application. This is the application of titanium pigment. Application starts from the tip of the uh, pen and uh, adds up the knife to aerospace. Every field it is used for medical. Spacecrafts and missile, titanium alloy because of its high strength and uh, low weight. Strength to weight ratio is more. This is rutile, TIU only. 98%. Rutile is mainly used for welding electrode flux and titanium dioxide. This is the application of JITCON. Ceramic tiles, dental crowns. Due to superior quality, um, brightness, then high reflectivity, high hardness, non corrosive and non toxic precision casting then silmite mostly transformed to molite and uh, refractory bricks refractory furniture bricks and linings garnet is abrasive material so it replaced the silica sand which uh, some of our paints like titanium dioxide replace use of lead oxide and garnet replace silica sand, which is non hygienic. Then water jet cutting. Due to high hardness, uh, garnet is mostly useful for water jet cutting and it is reusable also. Thorium nitrate, major application gas metal. Trisodium phosphate is our byproduct of rare earth uh, uh, extraction plant that is used for mainly cleaning agent, detergents. Then rare earth chloride is used for separating individual elements. So this, these are the products of uh, uh, um, RED. This is how harvesting is there from beets. Inland surface collection and refilling and derivation. Thank you. Anybody have any curiosity uh, on his presentation? Yeah. 
ियम न्यूट्रन अबजर्वर so before sending to di uh, it is made uh, hafnium free it contains about 1.5% hafnium so before application for nuclear it is to be made hafnium free so likewise all other ah uh, cell mate also garnet aluminum silicate garnet has also been in so? garnet 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 for all uh, that almanan type garnet for aluminum silicate fe3 l2 si4 3 only these elements ah mostly this Not other uh, some stress if some impurities are there uh, because garnet we are maintaining 94 97 mm. grade so other some silica may be there like this impurities with impurities other things will come but that is not harmful for this uh, garnet uh, from uh, andhra pradesh coast also huh. contains rare earth uh, 2.3.4% total Yeah, from that angle, I was telling whether no, sir. Mo monoid mostly 0.5, 0.4 percent. In Andhra also 0.4, 0.5 percent. No, no, monoid. not monoid. I am ah. talking about the garnet. Ga garnet 4 percent is there. In uh, here, uh, Kollam it is 0.3. In Rajasthan 0.3 percent garnet is there. But MK garnet is high. Oscom garnet and uh, that the uh, Trimax plant uh, close. Andhra Pradesh garnet is high. So based on the provenance rock. this mm, composition varies okay thank you okay. so thank you very much sir for uh, taking us into the glimpse of activities of uh, uh, irel uh, india limited and we also thank you uh, on behalf of organizing committee to be a part of uh, indian indian analytical science congress 2022 thank okay. you thank you thank you sir
शाखाए एक धागे से बंध गई है ये तन मन से आई एस ए एस है हमारे भारत वर्ष की शान विश्लेषण विज्ञान हर शाखा में है हम मूलभूत उपयोजित विज्ञान का है ये संगम परमाणु ऊर्जा अवकाश परमाणु ऊर्जा अवकाश आरोग्य खेती जैव विज्ञान परमाणु ऊर्जा अवकाश पर्यावरण नानो विज्ञान आदि विषयों में है काम आई एस ए एस है हमारे भारत वर्ष की शान सम्मेलनों से बढ़ता सबका ज्ञान हम सबका गतिशील सहभाग लाता है इसमें जान आई एस ए एस है हमारे भारत वर्ष की शान छात्रो शिक्षक शास्त्रज्ञों का आगे बढ़ता काफिला मन में ये उम्मीद जगी है हमारे भारत वर्ष की शान आई एस ए एस है हमारे भारत वर्ष की शान भारत वर्ष की शान भारत वर्ष की शान आई एस ए एस गुड इवनिंग ऑल we have gathered here for isas webinar series valedictory function during the pandemic period isas came out with the idea of having webinar series for dissemination of scientific knowledge in this connection the isas webinar series commenced on 4th july 2020 and completed 75 webinars the series was a grand success and eminent personalities from various fields delivered highly interesting thoughtful and knowledgeable lectures before we start i request dr p v joseph isas executive member to escort okay and also dr r rajiv chairman isas webinar committee to escort both of you to escort dr p p chandra chudan sir president isas dr a ajay ghosh director csir nist dr v r nair patron isas and dr raghav saran vice president isas thank you uh, let us begin with a silent prayer i request uh, all of you to just uh, raise up for the sake thank you on behalf of uh, isas uh, i welcome dr rajiv rajan uh, raghavan 
Chairman, ISA's webinar committee to deliver the welcome speech. Respected Dr. P. P. Chandrachudan, President, ISAS, Dr. Ajay Ghosh, Director, CSIR, NIST, Trivandrum, Dr. Raghav Sharan, Vice President, ISAS, Dr. V. R. Nair, Former President, ISAS, Dr. P. V. Joseph, Vice President, ISAS, Kerala Chapter, Distinguished Audience, Delegates, ISAS Members and Friends, a very good afternoon. ISAS has started the webinar series in the 4th July 2020 to meet the objectives of the ISSA, that is dissemination of knowledge. Since the COVID pandemic, we have to decide to conduct this in online mode. And the first webinar was inaugurated by none other than Dr. Ajay Ghosh. And the first talk was by Dr. A.P. Jairaman, Chairman, National Center for Science Communication. This was followed by webinars, that is, uh, 17 webinars it has followed. Dr. V. R. Nair was the chairman of the webinar committee and Dr. P. V. Joseph was the coordinator. They have carried out an excellent field work in selecting appropriate uh, subjects and speakers for their webinars. Thank you, Dr. V. R. Nair and Dr. P. V. Joseph. On 26th September 2020, a valedictory function as arranged for, for this series and uh, Dr. Dinesh Srivastava, Chief Executive, NFC Hyderabad was the chief guest and he delivered a talk an Indian, on Indian nuclear fuel technology and distributed the awards to the speakers. We continued the webinar series by arranging webinars by ISAS Nagpur chapter and Kerala chapter. And ISAS Nagpur chapter, I want to especially tell Dr. Raghav Sharan and Dr and Dr. Avinash Bharati taken a lead role uh, with the help of ISAS, Nagpur chapter members, and the chemistry department of our COEM Nagpur. Again, on 2021, January, we restarted the webinar series called a webinar to ISAS webinar 2021. In January 30, Dr. V.P. Vedugopalan was the chief guest. We introduced a new role as a chief guest as well as a speaker in the webinar. And uh, Dr. A.S. Joshi of Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology delivered the first talk on that series. On 3rd July, it is continued, then it is continued, earlier it is continued, we are pl initially planned for uh, twice in a month, but uh, after 2021, with the uh, help of, uh, because especially our president is insisting that we have to, con we have to uh, conduct this every week and uh, our Dr. Raghav Sharan and, and uh, our president's insistence, uh, we, uh, we are trying to conduct in every week and this will become a phenomenon because every Saturday 7 p.m. there will be a webinar by ISAS and so many people are telling this is a fantastic achievement because every Saturday we try to uh, make one, uh, one webinar or uh, talk and, and a lot of members, I have, we have observed that a lot of members can, uh, continuously uh, uh, it is they are presenting for the seminar also and on or and on or 3rd july 2021 we had an important day webinar and our chief guest and speaker was none other than dr anil kakhodkar former chairman atomic energy commission he talked about science and technology for the atma the parada and the, that uh, that meeting was attended by more than 250 people now we have completed 75 webinars and all our chapters, Kerala, Nagpur, Pune, Chennai, and Karnataka chapter has shared the load of arranging the, these webinars with the headquarters. And I want to express my gratitude, especially to Dr. Raghav Sharan, Dr. Avinash Varadi of Nagpur chapter, Dr. K.K. Rashid, Dr. Babu, Dr. Joseph of Kerala chapter, Dr. Nilima Rajurkar, Dr. Uh, of Nilima Rajukar of Pune chapter, Dr. Sriman Narayan of Chennai chapter, Dr. Manjana of uh, Belgavi chapter, and Dr. Yadav of Baroda chapter. So now this will become a, 
all the chapters our chapters are also actively participate in this one and these people i i could not mention all the names of the people but i am mentioning only the important important people but they took their help of their all their isas members they all participated in this mega event okay this is about our webinar series now i am coming to my duty of welcoming uh, to this gathering first of all I, uh, I want to welcome Dr. Ajay Ghosh, Director, uh, CSIR NIST. So this is a special event because normally when you are inaugurating, like our ministers are putting a foundation stone and it is lucky we are having the same person to do the final, the opening of the building also. So this is, we are very happy to get uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Ajay Ghosh for this function. So I am welcoming you, sir. Next, I want to uh, welcome this. Welcome is not required for other person because we are all our president, Chandra Jivan sir. He, he is the active person behind this webinar series. He is insisting if the uh, chief guest is not available or his one speaker is not available, so within one or two days, he found a person and get all the things. If you think is, what is called, he has a all around. Uh, area knowledge in India and he will found a suitable person and we can conduct within within the time time frame. So I welcome you sir for the this meeting. <laughs> and Dr. V.R. Nair sir, sir is the initial uh, the welcome that uh, the seminar, webinar committee chairman and he is and similar to Chandrayvan sir he is also know who is the best speaker who is having the best uh, talk. He, he simply select that you can contact this person, he will give the contact number, all the things and it will be very easy for us to uh, contact this person and get a speaker. So welcoming you sir for this meeting and Dr. Raghav Sharan he is also the cha vice chairman of this webinar committee and he is also the man behind making it every week. Every week he is also insisting if no chapter is ready to conduct, he is accepting Nagpur chapter will do it. I don't know how they, he is adjusting. So, welcoming you, sir. And uh, finally, our Professor jo Joseph, sir, he has done. He has actually, he has uh, the initial man doing that he is one single-handedly carried out the almost the 17 to 18 webinars, collecting all the data, presenting all the things he has done. That is, he has started, he can tell, he has started this webinar. So, we are welcoming you, sir, for this. So today, in addition to that, we are presenting that ISAS honorary membership to 43 senior scientists who had contributed immensely uh, for making the objectives of the ISAS real. A committee chaired by Dr. V.R. Nair selected the awardees. And in addition to that, uh, we have to felicitate the, those who have contributed in each chapter for conducting these seminars very successfully. So, we are uh, we are giving ISAS medals and uh, ISAS uh, performance award to those who con contributed from each chapter today. So, and in, in, with these words, I want to uh, welcome all, all the awardees, those who are present, and uh, now we are uh, doing it this in YouTube live. So, uh, I informed all the awardees. So, I am assuming that they are watching this. And they can only watch it. They cannot uh, I think it, uh, respond. It is not possible. They can watch watch it. And uh, I welcome all of them as well as all the all the uh, delegates and friends present here. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for this uh, warm welcome. On behalf of ISAS, uh, it's my privilege to welcome Dr. P.P. Chandra Chudan, uh, President of uh, ISAS, to deliver the presidential address. Uh, <clears throat> good afternoon, everybody. Now, I cannot take the credit for whatever is happening because the source has been disclosed. <laughs> and I will add a little tinge, further tinge to that. The real source is uh, the omnipotent uh, Dr. V. R. Nair. Um, then I get certain percentage of the credit, which I quietly take away. The <laughs> this uh, this event is very important because 
you know the analytical sciences finds an active uh, inextricably interwoven role in uh, most of the development activities most, not most all of the development activities that are going on in our country in terms of national development while the analytical scientists are contributing to the entire sectors so many of them uh, are not uh, really aware of the sectors to which they are contributing the concept of webinar came up because with the intention of uh, giving exposure to the various beneficiary sectors to which the isas uh, uh, fraternity is contributing so with that intention we have uh, we embarked on this webinar and uh, it so happened that uh, our great india is celebrating the 75th year of independence so we thought we will also join that stream as a uh, 4000 and odd strong uh, organization of analytical scientists in india so uh, as the, as we evolved in the webinar we try to uh, uh, associate our active interest in the participation of this uh, 75th year celebration so uh, and you know whatever isis function happens the we also think about adding certain value further to our own intentions and in all such occasions dr ayyappan Aj pillai ajay ghosh uh, he is a part and parcel of isis i would like to put you that way he is also a very internationally renowned scientist one of the topmost scientists in india and also currently the director of nist trivandrum and uh, association of dr ajay ghosh i take the credit but uh, a certain percentage i give to dr vr nair also the the process the we could be succeeding in this webinar only with the active cooperation of our very dynamic uh, chapter management and uh, i thank uh, dr uh, raghav sharan who is uh, vice president of the headquarters and also the motivator to almost all the chapters the chapter contribution is generally due to his dynamism <laughs> and the organizing this webinar and bringing it to the culmination of more than 75 webinars is uh, entirely attributable to dr rajiv rakhavan who is vice president of isas uh, but for his uh, dynamic and very efficient <laughs> management probably it would not have been possible to uh, accomplish such a very enviable target yeah. and uh, when we embarked on this uh, isa webinar program we were you know just in the the rahu we were just about to solve us covid 19 in uh, uh, january 2020 so when we were thinking how to go about we cannot have physical gathering the idea of uh, having going for a webinar system was uh, su suggested by dr pv joseph who is here with us so i we place our gratitude to dr pv joseph now in during this event uh, after we are having a long break of uh, this organizing the indian um, uh, analytical science congress uh, due to the covid pandemic for two years we could not do that after a gap from 2019 we are uh, holding now quite successfully i believe uh, so that uh, that is a, that is an occasion we thought we will put the validatory of our uh, webinar series for the time being we are not uh, as dr rajiv raghavan said we will we further continue this second series and third series we got very highly appreciated program uh, that's why we chose uh, this day today taking i don't know some time available to have this function here to uh, uh, acknowledge our gratitude to those uh, very important uh, Techni uh, techni technologist analytical technologist who made our program very successful from nagpur chapter chennai chapter kerala chapter belgavi chapter pune chapter and uh, baroda chapter i think i have not left any chapter who so we are proposing to uh, award a medal and a citation to all those uh, 
great good samaritans who helped us to make this program a grand success <laughs> isas also has embarked like many awards that we have given uh, uh, during the inaugural function of this congress uh, to uh, give a rightful position to the indian experts uh, uh, to associate with isas by way of recognizing them as the honorary fellow of isas and uh, many of them are not able to attend so we are covering this program in youtube and uh, those people will be given uh, online presentation their uh, citation will be displayed and uh, uh, virtually handed over and those who are here the recipients will be physically handed over that is a program in all fairness what we are going to do so registering my thanks to all these great science and technologists associated with isas uh, headquarters and chapter thank you all very much for your kind presence and uh, i wish to congratulate all the recipients of the medal citation as well as the honorary fellowship thank you very much thank you sir now i request uh, mr rakesh ranjan scientist vssc to introduce the chief guest it's my honor and privilege to introduce uh, today chief guest dr professor ajay ghosh professor ajay ghosh is the director of uh, csir national institute for interdisciplinary science and technology tiruvandaram born in kerala on july 30th 1962 professor ajay ghosh obtained his master's degree in chemistry and phd from calicut university he joined the regional research laboratory csir presently csir nest as a scientist in 1988 and became the director of institute in 2015 he is an outstanding professor of chemical sciences academy of scientific and innovative research and served as the first dean of the chemical sciences his research contribution are in the interdisciplinary area including photoresponsive material supramolecular chemistry and molecular probes and sensors to name a few his scientific contributions are recognized with many prestigious awards and recognition the most notable are the shanti swarup bhatnagar prize for chemical sciences 2007 the infosys science prize 2012 the silver medal for chemical research society of india 2013 the khwarizmi international science award 2013 the toas prize of chemistry and the jc bose national fellowship 2015 he is the first chemist to receive the infosys science prize he has published over 190 research paper five book chapters filed 26 patents and supervised 36 phd's two technologies based on his findings has been licensed to industries his publications are cited over 17000 times with an h index of 60 Professor Ajay Ghosh has numerous. Uh, sorry, uh, Professor Ajay Ghosh is a former Alexander Van Humdoort Fellow at Max Planck Institute, uh, Germany. He is the Fellow of Major Science Academy of India. In addition, he is an Honorary Fellow of Kerala Academy of Sciences and is the Fellow of World Academy of Sciences. He is in the chemical. Uh, he is in the editorial board of many journals. In addition to his research responsibilities, Dr. Ajay Ghosh is actively. involved in science education science popularization and the science our awareness program congratulations to dr ajay ghosh for winning the prestigious isas award isas dr m sundareshan award for outstanding contribution to the indian science and technology being conferred upon to him during the current uh, event iesc 2022 so with the brief word of introduction i would like to request dr a ajay ghosh to formally inaugurate the valedictory function and address the gathering dr chandra chudan dr v r nair dr saran professor yosef dr rajiv all dignitaries invitees participants colleagues friends ladies and gentlemen a very good afternoon to all of you this is of course a great honor for me to be a part of this great event I had been, uh, as uh, Dr. Chandra Chudan put in, I had been a part of uh, this 
activity for quite some time now and every time I am thrilled, uh, you know, and uh, I was telling to many of you, this is one of the most enjoyable, you know, uh, conferences that I have, because I attend a lot of conferences both in the country and abroad, where uh, I'm a really very serious person. <laughs> but when I come here, when I see my senior colleagues, friends, and uh, like, you know, like some of the elder brothers like uh, Dr. Nair and, uh, you know, Dr. Pillai and many of you and, uh, you know, Dr. Chandrachudan and all, I feel like an young kid who would like to jump around and then enjoy. <laughs> so I do whatever I can, you know, I don't mind who are around me and uh, probably some of you must have seen it already. <laughs> okay, coming back to today's uh, event, you know, let me begin by complimenting ISIS uh, for uh, taking keen interest in organizing such a program and I congratulate all the leaders and uh, members of the society and uh, I can tell you without any reservation that this is, that is ISAS, is one of the most vibrant uh, scientific societies in this country. We have so many such uh, societies <laughs> and uh, taking forward with such a vibrancy is a collective effort and wisdom of so many people and uh, for sustaining the, uh, you know, uh, vibrancy of the scientific community and motivating our young generation. People have to have this self-interest and commitment to carry forward. Just inaugurating something and doing something for some time and then forgetting forever is not the way. But this is an exceptional society. There is no doubt about it. So. I congratulate and I, I, I request all of you, especially the young people, come forward and then take the baton from some of uh, the old leaders and then take it forward because, you know, uh, many of us are on you know, like a retirement mode, you know. <laughs> I will also very soon join in that company, even though I look a little bit younger than. <laughs> so, uh, now, regarding this program, already Rajiv has beautifully narrated a, a chronology of uh, how it happened and then how they took it forward. Uh, I would like to say that, you know, this was really a pan-India program uh, co with the coordination of the societies at the different corners of this country. And uh, I still believe there is still immense scope to widen this to other parts of the country and have more branches of ISAs wherever possible so that it keeps growing and uh, more and more such activities can be conducted with uh, more, uh, you know, pan-India, you know, participation. And uh, uh, you all agree with me that, you know, a couple of years back, we were all, you know, in a very, very, especially this generation of people who are sitting here were uh, in a very highly panic and alert situation when the pandemic erupted. And uh, we were having no clues how to survive in this world. And we were all mortally afraid of, uh, you know, what is going to happen to us because there was no precedence of course, history says that there were many such events, you know, in different locations and the humanity survived with uh, the power of the science and whatever knowledge people had at that time. And if those days the humanity can survive such kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, eventualities, There was no doubt in my mind that we will easily overcome this, you know, because science has grown to that level and we know how to handle. Of course, we had many solutions at the ground level, at the initial stages, the whole society came together, you know, but ultimate solution comes from the scientific community. 
that is the ultimate solution and we had the responsibility and it is amazing to see that the scientific community across the globe you know stood up and then shown that we can handle and the vaccines came in you know less than any year and normally for any vaccine any drug for that matter if you think will take at least 10 to 15 to 20 years to come to the market for because it has to undergo stringent conditions measures studies and all before because it is going to human body a lively object you know you have to make sure that after 5 years it is you know bouncing back and then creating all sorts of confusion you know confusion which is you know even more dangerous than this small virus so but that was the need of the hour and we accepted those vaccines and the vaccines i should say even though 100% it was more or less you know saved the humanity of course many of our friends our uh, peers and uh, our fellow you know uh, people lost their life and we remember all of them who lost their life uh, you know all those who have suffered many people are still suffering because of the complexity of this small uh, uh, you know virus but what i would like to tell you is that you know there uh, this has really taught us many lessons which we never uh, knew in our life we know now how to wear a mask we know the significance of uh, sanitizers we know how to keep distance from each other and then connected we know how to conduct programs in with, within closed uh, you know walls we learned so many things we never knew that the the virtual medium will be such a powerful medium the guy who started zoom never thought that he will mean money out of it because it was just like another you know uh, things to communicate but remember the wisdom of our old people especially in our university system where we started distant education long ago at that time we never thought that you know this has such a significance now we are uh, learning everything from distance and it is a, a sort of a distance education okay finally we came together and i am attending a conference like this after a long distance i mean uh, you know years of two yeah two two and a half years i never traveled even within this country before that i was a regular you know a mover from here to there and there to here and all but two years you know suffered a lot so this was a, a great learning experience and if you look at we have lakhs of children who are in the first and second uh, uh, you know classes who started their classes at home school at home and they have never seen the school the teacher in face to face and probably they must have started seeing now after two years and the schools have opened in most of the places see the kind of lifestyle and uh, things is all together a very very new experience and isis was not an exception we we could have sat idly thinking that oh, there is no but the people in isis really thought that this is the opportunity and as mentioned here you know india was celebrating about to celebrate the 75 years you know so we last year we started celebrating so it is the most appropriate uh, time so before we started celebrating yasadi ka amrutum makolsav i think isas have seen it and started this program now now completed 75 great uh, you know uh, virtual talks and uh, it really need an applause i think i should then give that and as uh, uh, rajiv and uh, uh, dr chandrachudan said you know i had a, a rare uh, honor of uh, opening it and then now closing it <laughs> so so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and uh, showing your uh, your uh, confidence and also all your blessings everything to me and uh, but you know virus has the first wave the second wave 
Now the third wave is also over and we are anticipating a fourth, which I am confident that that will never happen, going to happen. So the virus has become already, you know, very weak. So, but we have the first wave just over doing this and we should have the second wave in the form of ISAS, you know, next uh, lecture series. And then we will go for the third, the fourth, the fifth, and it will continue forever. So let us work for it. And uh, I have the great pleasure and, and privilege to declare that this closing ceremony is open. <laughs> Thank you so much and uh, wish you all the very best in the remaining uh, time and also enjoy Munar, the God's Son country. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for this uh, motivational <laughs> inaugural address. Uh, now uh, we have the most sparkling event, that is the award presentation. Actually, we have two categories of uh, awards. The first one is uh, ISAS Honorary Fellowships. And uh, first, we'll start with the ISAS Honorary Fellowship. I request uh, Dr. Uh, P.P. Chandrachudan, sir, to hand over the certificate for this year. And, uh, can we dance? Sir, I request uh, Dr. A. Ajay Ghosh to kindly accept the honorary fellowship certificate from. Oh. Actually, it's an honor of ISAS uh, to have you on board, sir. Uh, the next eminent personality uh, who is going to get this honorship is Dr. Anupam Agnihotri. He is director of GNARDDC Nagpur. I am sure uh, you would have heard his uh, sparkling lecture uh, yesterday. Another uh, personality with us is Dr. N.K. Pillai, CEO, Kerala Enviro Infrastructure Limited, Kochi. I am sure uh, doesn't need any introduction. He is a part and parcel of already a part of uh, uh, ISAS. He is Dr. Raghav Sharan, ex AMD Nagpur. And he is also currently uh, Vice President of ISAS. is Dr. R. Raji, who was instrumental. He is currently uh, the local organizing committee ISC chairman. And I think he was previously also for 2019 uh, ISC, uh, he was the chairman organizing committee. He is also a vice president of uh, uh, ISAS. And he hails from uh, Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, where he was heading analytical inspectroscopy division prior to his retirement in uh, 2019. The next such personality is Dr. K. K. A. Rashid, advisor Suraj uh, AMDR Nagpur. Dr. Yamuna Singh, former scientist AMD Hyderabad. He has also uh, given a wonderful talk during one of the semi uh, webinar. <laughs> Professor Dr. Uh, Sriman Narayan, Vice Chancellor Wells, Stars Chennai. I hope uh, somebody on behalf of him, though he is not uh, uh, physically be present here, so his uh, associates will be 
receiving award on behalf of him. There are many other dignitaries also who, he has, who are uh, receiving this honorary fellowship award. And uh, so I'll read out one by one. Uh, Dr. D.P. Amal Nerkar, Emeritus Professor, SPPU Pune. If somebody is there uh, from Pune, they can collect on behalf of him. Basu, former director, Central Forensic Science Laboratory, Pune. Dr. R.K. Bhandari, former director, VECC, Kolkata. He also has delivered uh, uh, invited talk in uh, one of our webinar. Professor Chandrabhas Narayana, director, Rajiv Gandhi Center of Biotechnology, Trivandra. Professor Dr. Chitranjan Hegde, NIT K. Suratkar. Professor Dr. Dinesh Mohan, JNU, New Delhi. Dr. Dinesh Srivastava, Chief Executive, Nuclear Fuel Complex, Hyderabad. Professor Dr. Dwarka Dasa, uh, ISC, Bangalore. Dr. D.K. Dubey, Director, DRDE, Gwalior. Dr. S. Ganeshan, Professor, Department of Medical Physics, Anna University, Chennai. Dr. S.A. Ilangovan, Deputy Director, VSSC, Trivandrum. I think you had a, a, a talk yesterday, a keynote lecture by him, just post uh, pre-lunch. Dr. R.S. Jaisri, scientist, Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute of Medical Science and Technology. Yes, we also had a, a lecture from her yesterday. Dr. John Philip, head CSTD, IG Car, Kalpakkam. Dr. G.S. Kapoor, director R&D, IOCL, Delhi. Dr. S. Kailash, former director, physics group, BRC, Mumbai. Dr. V.K. Manchanda, former director, radio chemistry division, BRC, Mumbai. Dr. S.K. Malhotra, former head, public, S.F. Patel, former vice chancellor, NMU and BVDU. Dr. N.K. Pillai, sorry, has already received our Okay. Professor G. Ramakrishnan. Honorary Director, SIES Institute of Chromatography and Spectroscopy, Navi Mumbai. Dr. MLP Reddy, former Chief Scientist, CSR, NIST, Tiruvandram. Dr. DK Sinha, Director, AMD, Exploration and Research, Hyderabad. Dr. R. Srinivas, Emeritus Scientist, CSIR, IACT, Hyderabad. Dr. Sumit Som, Director, VECC, Kolkata. Dr. Unnikrishnan S., Director, VSSC, Tiruvandpuram. He was also a chief uh, guest in current uh, event. Dr. V. Venkataraman, Director, IG Car, Kalpakkam. Dr. V. Venugopal, former Director, Radio Chemistry and Isotope Group, BRC. He was available with us uh, sometime back. Uh, Dr. K. K. Vijayan, Director, IG Car, uh, ICAR, Sibas, Chennai. Dr. K. G. K. Warrior, former Deputy Director, CSIR, Nis Trivandram. Professor Dr. E. P. Yashodharan, Emeritus Professor, QSET, Kochi. Professor Dr. K. K. M. Yusuf, former professor and dean, QSET Kochi. I think uh, he was also here and sharing the session. Maybe, sir, uh, Prasit, sir, can collect on behalf of him. Oh, sorry, 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 it was already collected. Thank you. So this is all from uh, uh, the uh, list of uh, our dignitaries who have received uh, honorary fellowship. We, have, we are having another uh, award. So, Dr. Bully will announce. Okay, we have the uh, second uh, award category, the award presentation for the ISAS uh, webinar performance. Uh, uh, we are giving the medals and the certificates. And I request uh, Dr. Ajay Ghosh uh, to hand over the certificates. The first... Uh, Person is Mr. Rakesh Ranjan from VSSC, True Antrim. <laughs> oh, 
Philippines. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, we have Dr. Vijay Lakshmi KP, VSSE, True and True. collect on behalf of uh, Mrs. Bhuvaneshwari, VSSC Tirvandram. Ms. <laughs> Alakshmi Babu, VSSC. She was the one who was throughout, you know, uh, uh, Whatever uh, webinar was conducted by ISAS headquarters, she was comparing all the event. Yeah, um, Jalakshmi, you can collect for Dr. Deepthi L. Sivdas, VSSC, and Ms. Bismi Bashir, VSSC. Dr. Anu Gopinath, Kufos Kochi. Uh, he's not there with us now. Dr. Boli Theratil. Sir, Dr. Joseph P. V. Isas Kerala Chapter. As informed by Dr. R. Rajiv, that uh, Professor P. V. Joseph was the coordinator of the first webinar series conducted by Isas. Dr. K. K. Rashid, Chairman, Isas Kerala Chapter. Professor Dr. Abhinash Bharti, Chairman ISAS Nagpu Chapter. I think with uh, his and his team's effort, ISAS Nagpu Chapter also got Best Chapter Award yesterday. So kudos to the team Nagpu Chapter. This uh, we end to the award ceremony.
think there are three awards from, uh, for Nagpur chapter. Dr. Preeti A. Mangrulkar, ISAS Nagpur chapter. Dr. Pandur Lenekar, CP, ISAS Nagpur chapter. And Ms. Reya Vinash Parthi, ISAS Nagpur chapter. S.K. Jadav, ISAS Baroda chapter. He is not uh, physically present here. Right. Professor Prakash Samnani, ISAS Baroda chapter. He is also not available with us. Dr. Sunil Hande, ISAS Pune chapter. He is also not present. Dr. Manisha Bora, ISAS Pune chapter. Yeah. Professor Dr. Nilima Rajurkar, chairperson, ISAS Pune chapter. that uh, somebody is there from Pune. So I think you are bagging a lot of awards and the certificates. Professor Dr. Manjana J, Chairman ISAS Belgavi Chapter. I think uh, nobody is there from there. So with this, we end to uh, the uh, award for uh, uh, ISAS Webinar Performance Award. And uh, we'll be having another award, please. And those who are not available, uh, it will be uh, some way, it will be uh, ensured that uh, reaching to them. Now we have an... Uh, Token of appreciation for Professor Dr. Abhinash B. Varthi for appreciation of chairing a technical session at ISC 2022. So he sir was chairing um, uh, the poster sessions. Next moment, moment is to be presented to Dr. S. B. Singh uh, in appreciation for chairing the poster session. So, with this, we comes to the end of uh, the art function. Now I request uh, Dr. Raghav Sharan, uh, uh, Vice President ISAS, to formally inaugurate the website. Yeah, so we are uh, friends, we have started, this is a journal of an Indian Society of Analytical Scientists and the journal name is Analytica India. <laughs> Among editorial board, we have Dr. Rajurkar Nilima S, FMAS. She is editor in chief. And besides that, we have Dr. Bharti Avinash.
and then we come to our other members are there uh, and we come to advisory board uh, chairman of advisory board uh, is uh, dr raghav sharan fics and then other members are there dr v r nair dr shiman narayan dr prakash amul then uh, dr shivram prasanna Dr. Vijay Lakshmi KP, Dr. Muhammad Yusuf KK, and then we have got copyright form and uh, manuscript templates and all that. Uh, you can, you please just do visit the website issbharti.in, and in that website all details are available. We can, you can get in touch with us. There is a window created for this ISS journal, and uh, just open, just touch the ISS journal, and you can, uh, it will just open, and you can just go on opening all other details, whatever you wish, whatever you need, and in case of any trouble, you can get in touch with us, and we, you can drop us a line. Further details are there. With this, I just wish that our journal, all of us, all of you, you just contribute to the journal. Uh, I mean, uh, as much as you can, make the journal a great success. And our aim is to bring the new researchers to light and all original researches, new researches, so that it, it may get disseminated properly. So please, all of, all of you, whosoever have a new research, he can always try and contact this journal. Thank you. Uh, in our uh, ISIS website, isis.isisbharat.in, we have made a provision for uh, uh, giving exposure to the latest uh, analytical instrumentation. And uh, it will be a good idea, all of you individually, motivate the suppliers of various uh, uh, analytical instruments to put their advertisement in our. Uh, uh, that will be a continued, like, in, instead of coming in once in a year uh, exhibition, they will have a continuous exposure to the analytical community. And that will also make our website more popular, more po people will approach. So with this uh, multiple intention, productive intention, we have made that provision. Even short videos also can be put about their product working and all. So kindly popularize uh, this amidst our community. And we are also communicating to the Instrument Manufacturer Association also. But uh, there is nothing like uh, uh, the information going through our own members. Eh? Ah, yeah. uh, we are also trying to put uh, the vacancies in analytical chemistry uh, post arising different sources also. Uh, that is as a uh, community help we are providing. Uh, kindly go through our website uh, on and off so that it becomes uh, very popular. Thank you very much. And I would just say, just remember ISS, you all remember, you remember Bharat also. So ISS, Bharat, and then you have to go inside. So dot in, ISS, Bharat, dot in. That's our website. So please visit it as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I uh, invite Dr. Via Nair, patron of ISAS, for felicities. Respected Dr. P.P. Chandrajudan, President Isas, dear Dr. Ajay Ghosh, 
you know dr saren the reason is the that uh, he is the signing the authority of the certificate so he cannot get the certificate and i was the chairman of the deciding then so so what about the other you also would have got <laughs> maybe next time we'll be we'll get the chance to get the award <laughs> uh this kerala chapter of uh, isas was started in 2004 whereas the headquarters was started in 1983 for many years uh, we didn't become part of the headquarters because of lack of contact with the because it was situated in uh, brc and we were in kerala there was a lack of contact and uh, once uh, we were uh, became active you know we became hyperactive so every every 2 3 years we used to organize the conferences the first conference uh, was organized here only in 2006 then 2008 we organized 2010 we organized 2014 15 2017 2019 so we were very active so in 2019 uh, this covid has just started so even uh, our last uh, uh, in, in this uh, i guess congress was in 2019 in trivandrum so after that uh, we were uh, not able to do any i mean scientific work so one day our uh, dr joseph uh, he called me sir what is this people are uh, we are not doing anything see absence of change shows the decay so our uh, organization is de- decaying so let us do something so i asked him what we can do then he said he is organizing online programs teaching programs you know he is the professor in the college so he is uh, doing online programs so i am an expert so i can help you then i contacted dr chandrajud and requested can we organize the webinars then he readily agreed he was very happy he said we'll uh, release immediately start and uh, he started on july 4th 2020 the first webinar and it went on till september and uh, all the talks were excellent and after that we wanted a break joseph uh, sir had uh, some other uh, programs so he said i want a break so we discontinued for some time and in 2000 uh, 21 again dr chandran sir we should not do like this we should continue again so he asked who is the best man for this uh, program so i suggested many names but he chose rajiv because he is a rocket man <laughs> and very dynamic and he has got very good contacts and very everybody likes him everybody likes him <laughs> then uh, what about the i mean kadminer then i said he has a good team in vss So we got all good people from VSC for this program, and it went out well, and uh, we were able to organize all 75 uh, uh, programs. And uh, I think we uh, we have not stopped. After some time, I think we will uh, start again. Maybe by April, is it not, Rajiv? April first, we will start the next series, 2022 webinar series, 2022. And. Uh, when we started thinking of organizing a offline conference like this and we had doubts whether we will be able to organize this so we prepared for both offline and on- online program for the 2022 program fortunately everything went on well and we are able to organize in a, a nice manner and uh, dr ajay ghosh is the he has given maximum support this time the even though <laughs> he and we know each other from 2006 first time met him in 2006 only so at that time he was a very young boy <laughs> now he is retiring so he gave all support this time we got back <laughs> we got maximum support from uh, his laboratory nearly 40 delegates are there from his laboratory and <laughs> from vssc also around 20 22 people are there so that's also very good attendance most of the people are from trivandrum from this time <laughs> from our even though our coaching is nearby we are able to bring that many people so thank you so much uh, dr ajay ghosh and uh, that vssc office 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 for uh, helping us in this uh, endeavor another request i want to make is you know many of you sitting here are not members of isas so i request uh, we want to increase the membership in the isas so i request uh, who are as not become members of uh, isas to become a members of this this is a very dynamic and fast growing organization and uh, it will help you in your uh, career in future so with these few words i think uh, we have to conclude it before 7 o'clock <laughs> so i am <laughs> stopping thank you very much thank and congratulate all those who have received awards and uh, hope 
you will be able to meet again in bunar maybe after one or two years okay thank you good night thank you thank you sir thank you sir now i call upon uh, dr rakav saran sir for felicitation well dr nair a very good organizer rather excellent i would say and uh, fortunately he has got very good company and very good association very good contacts and all that and one of them of course as <laughs> he is sitting in front of us dr ajay ghosh <laughs> so his team at bssc and otherwise his irel team and all that and people are so much dedicated to him devoted to him rather that whatever he wishes he tries and he just plans for it and he just is able to fully get executed so that's the beauty of dr nair i think these words will not uh, uh, do justice with him and it will be very short if i just say go on saying go on saying it will never end so his qualities and his uh, characteristic capabilities and all that uh, it's uh, really it will be endless and it's not i would not be able to describe it fully so with this i'll just conclude over here thank you very much dr nair for all the thing all the support all the organization everything thank you very much thank you sir and uh, now we have the last one that is the word of thanks i request a professor pv joseph to deliver a word of thanks respected national president of isas dr pp chandra jodan chief guest of the day dr ajay ghosh former national president and the patron of isas dr vr nayar vice president dr raghav saran as the vice president and webinar committee chairman dr rajiv raghav my dear delegates distinguished leaders good evening A tragedy nobody likes but tragedy is a boon for those who transform the tragedy into an opportunity many of the organizations become defunct during the lockdown period they could not do anything no activities and is us not an exception it also became defunct but it was only for a while being an association of analytical scientists we analyzed the problem and sorted out the issue and find out found out an, an alternative to come out of this crisis we decided and the decision was implemented soon because of the vibrant leadership from offline we transformed the switch over to online mode instead of conducting one or two webinars seminars of our conventional analytic science congresses we conducted webinar series a series of 75 webinars one per week 75 webinars means 75 masters in various topics delivered invaluable talks during the this webinar series and it, it was a success grand success on the basis of the, uh, the uh, participation iss became popular and we could popularize science 
അനലിറ്റിക്കൽ സയൻസ് എമങ് റിസർച്ച് സ്കോളേഴ്സ് സ്കൂൾ കോളേജ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആൻഡ് ജനറൽ പബ്ലിക് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ഇസാസ് ആൻഡ് നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഒക്യൂപ്പൈസ് എ പ്രോമിനൻറ്റ് പൊസിഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ഹാർട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ പീപ്പിൾ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ദോസ് ഹു ആർ എൻഗേജ് ഇൻ അനലിറ്റിക്കൽ സയൻസ് ആസ് ഡോക്ടർ വി ആർ നായർ സെഡ് ഐ വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ റിപ്പീറ്റ് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ടു ജോയിൻ ഇസാസ് ഇഫ് യു did not join so far it's a matter of 2000 only anybody can join and continue till the end only 50% registration fee is needed for members that is the offer anyway my duty is to propose sort of thanks we con- conducted a week veritary meet to honor those who worked for the success of webinar and also uh, to honor the fellows honorary fellows first of all i would like to thank sincere thanks to dr chandrajeevan who is the national president and also he attended all the 75 webinars without fail that shows his commitment Let us give a big round of applause to the Dr. P.P. Chandri Gold, sir. Chief guest, Dr. Ajay Gold, sir. He is the patron of ISA's Kerala chapter. Though he is very busy, he will attend all our webinars and seminars. Not webinars, but seminars. He will come with his wife. <laughs> he is an energy for all of us. Thank you, sir, for... coming in friendly sunshine dr v r nayar without him we cannot conduct this kind of webinar uh, analytic science congress thanks a lot to v r nayar sir thanks a lot rago saran sir he inaugurated the website of the modified website of isas and also felicitated the award award winners and those who received certificates from isas he is a very good motivator and he is uh, spreading the message of isas through cha- uh, starting new uh, new and uh, new new chapters all over india thank you sir Rajiv Raghavan, sir. He is an em- the emerging leader of ISAS. <laughs> okay. Already emerged. Already, already emerged. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for conducting the webinar series in a grand manner, sir. I also propose sincere auto thanks to the honorary fellows who received awards from isas and also uh, those who worked for the success of webinar series i express my sincere thanks to the isas family members delegates and uh, leaders who made this function veritably meet a grand success thank you thank you sir with this uh, we have uh, officially ended this isas webinar series valedictory function thank you all